I've got the new MacBook Air 15 inch here and I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity to show you how to transfer all your stuff all in one shot from one machine to another. So I'm gonna set up this brand new Mac by using something called Migration Assistant and I don't need to install any software on it. This is the uh, introductory screens. It's one of the screens that pops up when you're first setting up. It says Migration Assistant. You can do not now or from Windows. From Windows, I've never tried that. Have you ever tried from Windows? Anyway, we're gonna do from a Mac and we're gonna use a cable, which is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. It doesn't have to be a Thunderbolt 4 cable, but that's what I got. And I'm gonna transfer from this 13 inch MacBook Air to this 15 inch MacBook Air. So let's plug that in. And I need to open up Migration Assistant on the 13 inch. Search for Migration Assistant, open it up, continue. Super secret password, it's just password. No, not really, it's not password. So we're gonna go to another Mac here. And here, we're gonna just select from Mac and click continue. You're supposed to click continue over here too. When you do that, it pops up right there as being detected as the source. And you click continue. You need to enter the super secret number so that it matches. Make sure that that number matches on both machines. And yes, it does. And continue. That wasn't hard, was it? In fact, it was a little bit too easy. I'm a little worried that this might not work because it was too easy. Things aren't never this easy. Oh wait, wait, we're not done. Of course we're not done. Look, we need to select what we want to transfer. I want to transfer, well, everything. But you can pick, do you want to transfer your personal files, your applications, other folders? I want to just do everything. Continue. Now just a little note about that. I'm going from a 256 gigabyte hard drive machine to another 256 gigabyte hard drive machine. If you're going to a smaller machine, well, not everything might transfer, so you might have to select what you need to transfer. Okay, this is where I select my password for the account that's gonna be transferred. It does not transfer your password. It transfers all your data, but not your password, so you're gonna need to set a new password here. And I'm gonna enter my super secret password and set password. And then continue. Agree to the terms and yeah, that was too easy. I'm a little bit nervous and that was so easy. Something's gotta go wrong, right? Half a million items processed. Well, it might take a little bit, I don't know. Uh, okay, what do we got? Well, this didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped, as it's gone for me in the past, but maybe that's a good thing. I get to learn something new and you get to learn from my mistakes. On the left, we've got the source. It says migration completed and ready to use, done. We're back to normal. Here, it says we have some migration warnings. Hmm. Let's take a look. Some documents could not be transferred. Okay, that's from the uh, iOS simulator. I don't really care about that. So not too bad, not too bad. I think I'm just gonna hit continue and enjoy my new Mac. Migration completed, done. <laughs> I feel like we got twins here. One twin is just taller and wider. And you gotta sign up, of course, with your Apple ID. If you want to, you don't have to, but I did. Looks like we're on the desktop and we've got all the software installed. We got Xcode, we got Visual Studio Code, we've got a few other things here, but uh, it looks like it worked. Let's try running Xcode to see if that pops up. And Xcode is starting, it's just taking a little bit of time to do that. You can now disconnect your cable and you're good to go. There it is, Xcode, boom. You know the drill. I got another update. I actually got two MacBook Airs and um, one of them, for some reason, it wasn't up to Ventura 13.4. So I'm going from a source that's 13.4 and this one is a lower version. So it's giving me this message. So we need to run an update first. Hey, if you like this video, I know this was a little bit weird and different, but uh, give it a like and consider subscribing for more content about this kind of stuff. I'll see you all next time.